This is the most insane experiment I've ever done, and after just 30 minutes, you could be driven to complete insanity by doing this. But is it all worth it to be able to uncover the truth? Well, I'm glad you asked. But before I try to uncover the truth for you, I need to tell you what the Gansfeld experiment is. So are you ready? Yeah, I guess. In the 1930s, a German psychologist named Wolfgang Mesgar created the Gansfeld experiment to study telepathy and perceptual distortions that could rise to the high levels of hallucinations to those who attempted it. Sounds like fun, right? I mean, yeah, I love having fun. And just like anything in life, there are some risks you'll face if you attempt to do this. Wait a minute, you said risks. Yes, but we'll get to that soon. By doing this experiment, you'll be putting yourself into sensory deprivation by blocking out your vision and listening to white noise. So first off, I need some bright lights. Yeah. That should work. Next, I need an orange ping pong ball, and it isn't because I plan on playing ping pong, it's because I'll be slicing it in half. Now how this works is I have to take the cut up ping pong ball and tape it around my eyes, followed by me using the bright light shining it in my face. By doing this, it'll allow me to see the red light in order to hallucinate. Which is scary, but not as scary as the risk that could happen by doing this experiment. Hey, can you finally just like tell me what the risks are before I do this? Yeah, I think it's important to let you know that it could cause a seizure, a stroke, or some horrible hallucinations. Oh boy. And because 97% of the people who attempt this can only last 30 minutes or less, I'm gonna be going for an hour. I actually hope that I can make it that long. I'm not enjoying this. Alexa, set a timer for 60 minutes. One hour. Starting now. And just like that, my journey of doing the Gansfeld experiment has begun. And if I make the full 60 minutes, this will have some kind of deep impact on me. Also, this is what I'm currently listening to in my headset. I may have completed the first minute, but I still have 59 more to go. But little did I know how fast I would start to hear things. Wait, did somebody just say hello? This is also a good reminder to let you all know that I'm the only one home right now during this experiment, which means I'm either going crazy or I actually did hear someone say hello. Right now, I feel like I see a shadow in front of me just walking back and forth. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty trippy. Also, the lights are like moving from one side to the other, which I know can't be physically possible because I know where I had set them both up, but it's like this back and forth. And already six minutes in, I was starting to hallucinate. I don't want to open the door. There's a door in front of me, but I don't want to go and open it. And now I'm quickly realizing why people only last 30 minutes or less. It's got to be at like 20 minutes so far. You can you can trust me though. You can you can talk to me. What did you say? The longer I continue doing this experiment, the more stranger things will get. Look to the light. If you ask me, that was pretty weird. But not as weird compared to what happens next. My arms feel so heavy right now. And after that moment, things started to ramp up very fast. Who just slammed? Who just slammed that? Yep, that's right. I thought somebody slammed a door in the room. And like I said before earlier in this experiment, I'm the only one home right now. Whoa, who just moved right there? I, sw I swear somebody's right there. And at this very moment, the Gonsfield experiment is in full force. Hello? That is trippy, man. That is so trippy. But I'm gonna push myself to make it all the way to the end. Literally just saw a shadow right there. As the timer rapidly approaches 20 minutes, how long do you think you would last? I just feel so uncomfortable right now. I'm now officially 20 minutes in, which means one third of the hour is completed. I still have 40 minutes left to go. Do you think I'll make it all the way to the end? If so, let me know down below in the comments.
I am legit freezing. And this makes no sense to me as we have the heat on in the house set to a comfortable 69 degrees. Why is it so cold in here? I was just so warm. Legit just freezing cold right now. I was just warm, but now I'm just so cold. I am just trying to fight the urge of being cold. I was so warm before. And now that I'm 30 minutes in, I'm halfway to the finish line. And as we're approaching the one hour mark, let me tell you about the sponsor who helped with making this video possible. Chatspin is a video chat app that makes it easy to meet new people online. Their video chat features include face masks, gender and country filters, private chat and more, so you can chat with random people all over the world instantly. So if you're looking to make some new friends, find your next date, or show off some of your best talents, Chatspin is the place for you. If you're looking to connect with new people, random video chat is the way to go and Chatspin is the vehicle that'll take you there just like this. Hola. Hello. It's free and easy to start video chatting and having fun. The cool thing is you never know who you're going to meet next. You could possibly end up meeting me. The link to Chatspin will be down below in the video description and I hope to see you there sometime. With that being said, thank you Chatspin for sponsoring this video. Dude, are the lights flashing? As you see by me switching to this camera, the lights are not flashing at all. The red light is just getting brighter. It's literally flashing right now. Flash, 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 alternating between that light and that light. And at this point, I was so ready to give up the experiment, but I didn't know how close I was to actually finishing it. I don't know if I can keep going much longer. I genuinely was losing hope that I would not be able to complete the full hour. I'm not in this. Even though I was not enjoying this, I knew I had to dig down deep to push myself so I could finally hear this. There's no way that's been an hour. Alexa, please stop. Ow. Right now, I just... I just need to get up and walk. The truth is, the Gonsfeld experiment was a great way for me to go into sensory deprivation and access a level of my subconsciousness I've never experienced until now. And you can achieve it too if you're willing to take the risks.